welcome back students let's start off with the trick 10 right so till now we have done all the nine tricks based on organic chemistry physical chemistry as well as inorganic chemistry so i'm more concentrating on the organic chemistry students so any doubt please put it in the comment section right so please don't waste your time as we are in lockdown period let us utilize the time properly right so now when we do the trick 10 right let's see what is trick 10 explaining us hope uh, all these tricks are very useful for you all and i'm um, i also expect and hope that you will be use, utilizing these during your examination because in the board exam in the, sorry in the je or neat examination time is a constraint isn't it right so in the trick 10 let's write what is important and let's learn now first here today i'll be discussing about something called alkene stability so whenever a question is given based on alkene stability what should you remember right so here the trick 10 is about which one students so let us write that i'm talking about alkene stability okay so what you are supposed to learn in this just see here you have to remember the trick is greater the number of attached greater the number of attached alkyl groups so if the number of alkyl groups are more greater number of alkyl groups what is what is more greater is greater is alkene stability remember this so once again greater the number of alkyl groups greater is alkene stability hope you have noted this let me take an example and show you what actually is this how can you apply it in the exam right okay right so here alkene stability i said number of alkyl groups suppose if i have given or they've given me in the exam one example let me see so what is this greater the number of alkyl groups <coughs> greater is alkene stability i have different different examples let's see that suppose i have an example r c h double bond c h r let us name this as one one more i have next one r c h double bond c h 2 this is two one more example c h 2 double bond c h 2 this is one more example three next you have one more example that is r 2 c double bond c h 2 this is four one more example, R2C double bond CH2. This is 5. R2C double bond CR2. This is 6. Now, the concept is, this is given. They've asked you, write the correct order or in the uh, you know, correct order of stability in the exam. Now, what did I say? What is the trick I said? I said, greater the number of alkyl groups, greater would be its stability. So, let us apply that trick in this. So, uh, here in this first thing, how many alkyl groups are there? Two. Here in the second, number of alkyl groups are one. Here, no alkyl groups. So, whichever doesn't have alkyl groups, it is least stable. Number of alkyl groups are two. So, here two, here one, here no, here two, here two plus one, three, here two plus two, four. Yes. So, which is a uh, alkene uh, students, which is highly stable? This one, as I said, number of alkyl groups are more, uh, the particular alkene will be more and more stable. So, first order, first one, what should I write? Yes, students, the first one, I have to write it as six is highly stable, greater stability. Correct. After six are, uh, is uh, stable, which is the one which is this one, then comes five. This is more stable. Then next comes your four. Correct. Then comes your next alkene. Here how many are there? Two. Fourth alkene also has two. First alkene also has two. So almost four and one are equal stability. Both are equal. That is one. Which is greater. Now here one more thing. You have to remember. In the first example, always trans is greater stability than cis. This you have to remember. So, one. One. After that, next comes the single one that is two. The least st stable one is three. So, remember students, this is a trick which I am going to, I told you. In when, when they have asked you alkene stability, more number of alkyl groups, more will be the alkene stability. So, here four alkyl groups, so I took six. Then here there are three alkyl groups, then I took five. There are two alkyl groups, I took four. <coughs> then one also has two alkyl groups, but here trans is more stable than cis. 
then i took two because there are second compound second alkene because this is one alkyl group and the last is three hope you have understood students this is your trick 10 let us come back and do trick 11 right welcome students let us start off with trick 11 now so what did i say in the earlier trick more number of alkyl substituents are there more will be the stability of the alkene correct now let me take it to the next concept now suppose here alkyl substituents if they are there so okay alkyl substituents that is the methyl group a basic thing if i take alkyl substituents they will stabilize the double bond this is the concept stabilize double bond this is what we have studied now suppose if the same alkyl substituents they will also destabilize the double bond when it will destabilize destabilize the double bond when when they are they are at cis position when they are at cis to each other cis to each other cis position to each other now what is cis and trans students suppose if there is a double bond like this right now what is cis and trans basically cis and trans let us write cis means <coughs> they are present on the same side of the Car both the carbon same side is cis suppose if it is trans they are present on the opposite side of the double bond right cis means on the same side trans means on the opposite side right now the concept we said if it is in the cis position it will destabilize it let us take the example and see right so let me erase this so yes now they are giving me different different examples one is isobutene they will ask which is more stable they will give you trans to butene is one more example which which they ask you to test then cis to butene is one more example and they are given you one butene is one more example okay done so here when they ask you this example first draw the structure and see what is what thing you should remember in your mind you have to remember that if the alkyl substituents are at the cis position in the double bond they are going to destabilize so whichever is the uh, cis this one uh, if the it is in the alkene cis carbon means the cis position then you can put it as a least stable let us write the structure isobut but means four carbons one c double bond c <coughs> 3 CH3 CH3 H and H this is isobutene isobutene okay isobutene done next is trans to butene 1 double bond 1 2 3 4 trans means I said it is on the opposite direction CH3 CH3 H and H trans to butene now i have to write cis to butene c double bond c i said in cis the alkyl groups are present on the c on, on the same side of both the carbons hydrogen and hydrogen now i have to write one butene <coughs> one c double bond c ch2 ch3 1 2 3 4 so remaining i'll fill it as hydrogens done now see students careful now which is cis position right cis means which one i said it is present on the same side so this is cis so this will be last let us number this as one two three and four correct yes now what is the first important thing order when i say one isobutene it is more stable order one is more stable than two this is more stable than three this is more stable than four so that is the trick right now let us come back and do next trick that is trick number 12 right uh, so when it comes to trick 12 let's see what are we going to learn here again one more stability i'm going to uh, teach as i said alkene stability in trick 10 alkyl substitute instability uh, in alkenes again trick 11 and now important thing one more let us write what is the trick stability of the negative charge is opposite to basicity so one more trick which i'm going to teach you is stability of negative charge is opposite to 
basicity oh wow nice opposite to basicity how can i understand how can i remember this so here stability of negative charge so a negative charge is nothing but an anion isn't it so how are they going to how are we going to remember this in the exam suppose in the uh, question in the uh, entrance, entrance exam questions suppose if they're giving you uh, um, compare the order of stability with all the negative charges given means I give, i'll show you with an example negative charges given you have to judge which is least stable and which is more stable right let me take so hope you have noted the students let me erase this now and take the exam Examples, right so I am erasing this done next I have to take an example suppose there is there are examples like this now what is the concept I have to see stability of the negative means the most stable one will be that which has the negative charge negative charge is fine but important concept here is electronegativity so what should you remember so after taking that let me write and one more trick what is that as electronegativity i'm sorry students let me erase this as electronegativity increases stability of stability of anion also increases remember this as electronegativity increases stability of the anion also increases yes students done so here let me take these two tricks and apply it suppose they have given me an example like this one example is what oh minus okay oh minus is one next they have given me nh2 next f minus then ch3 minus now tell me based on that as i said as the electronegativity increases where does it increase basically electronegativity in a periodic table electronegativity it increases where in a periodic table from left to right in a period from left to right in a period that is electronegativity increases isn't it now in the left to right in the period let us see which comes first in left to right suppose carbon atomic number six carbon after carbon atomic number six then comes nitrogen atomic number seven then comes fluorine atomic number uh, so then comes uh, then comes oxygen atomic number eight then comes fluorine right students so i know at the electronegativity according to this trick as electronegativity increases stability of anion increases so i know in the periodic table left to right in the periodic table <coughs> electronegativity increases isn't it right so which element now fluorine atomic number first comes fluorine highly electronegative so now uh, let me write the order first normally it comes carbon six then comes nitrogen this is seven then comes oxygen eight then comes fluorine so left to right in the periodic table which is highly electronegative fluorine is highly electronegative so if it is this is highly electronegative which will be if it is highly electronegative what will happen to the anion this will be this anion will be more stable correct yes now this one is the first element this is less electronegative compared to fluorine less electronegative so this is less stable enough this is how you have to judge the question so this is your trick 12 remember as the stability of the negative charge is opposite to basicity next as the electric uh, based on the electronegativity if the electronegativity increases as i've shown you here stability of anion also increases let us come back and do trick number 13 Right, students welcome back again let us start off with the trick number 13 hope you have seen all the tricks till 12 keep applying it in your exam i promise you'll be able to solve the question very fast right so when it comes to trick 13 the trick which i'm going to teach now is remember just see greater the branching so this concept i think you've studied in the first chapter that is halo alkenes halo arenes but basically when we speak about hydrocarbons we speak about this yes right so greater the branching what is what will be the what which will be lesser remember the branching is greater lower the boiling point this is one which you've studied why this is happening because here this concept i have to explain this see when the branching is increasing what will happen gradually it will start forming loops like this one one inside the other one inside the other it starts becoming spherical so when it becomes spherical what will happen to the surface area see when it is like this straight the surface area is plain means it is more 
when when it is a ball what will happen in the surface area the surface area decreases right so greater the branching lower will be the boiling point why because molecule becomes molecule becomes spherical molecule becomes spherical this is fine when it is becoming spherical what uh, what will happen then in, automatically there is decrease in surface area just now i said when it is spherical the surface area overall surface area just for a ball it will be like this isn't it for a perified egg the surface area is so much but for a ball the surface area will become less so decrease in surface area <coughs> for which one for intermolecular inter molecular attachment or intermolecular attractions done so i have to explain this with an example isn't it so what should i remember greater the branching lower will be the boiling point why this is the reason surface area will be less and intermolecular attraction <coughs> will be uh, like you know for it will decrease as in the whole molecule becomes spherical and intermolecular force of attraction also will be to the minimum distance right right so with <coughs> let us take an example let me let me rub this now so then i have to explain this concept suppose they have given me an example uh, one two three four examples we'll take the first example is hexane is one example then i'll be writing the isomers of that in the same way and just see i'll be writing two methyl pentane right then students then i'll take an example that is three methyl pentane one more example 2 comma 2 dimethyl butane first as soon as this is given in the exam don't get confused what you should do you have to write the structure of that and see whichever branching is there whichever where, wherever molecule has more branching then automatically you will put an option or you will tick an option saying that because this has more branching uh, the boiling point will be less let us write suppose if i have to write hexane example so hexane is how many carbons six carbons hydrocarbon there is an alkane so ch3 one and one two 3 4 5 6 the sixth carbon is this this is done students now 2 methyl pentane so at the first is ch3 then you have at the second carbon you have methyl group then 3 uh, then 4 then 5 so this is 2 methyl pentane the second carbon this is one carbon this is two carbon done now i have to write 3 methyl pentane again pentane only so the first carbon so ch3 this is 2 this is 3 this is 4 this is 5 this is pentane now which position it is 3 methyl the third position with the we have methyl group done now i have to write 2 2 dimethyl 2 2 dimethyl butane is example given to me so 2 2 so first of how many what is the parent chain it is but i have to write but so okay first is ch3 2 this is the second carbon this is the third carbon so but is over now they say 2 2 dimethyl right so 1 2 3 right now this is four but means four carbons now this is the first card first uh, this one position they say 2 2 dimethyl so if i have to take here there is one more methyl group here there is one more methyl group done students right so here 2 2 dimethyl butane now see which has the more branching among all these yes so the more branching is this this is more branching correct now next what is the next branching this this is the next branching what is the next branching then this is this one then which is the next branching means branching there is no branching in this correct now according to the trick which i have given you i said more of the branching less will be the boiling point if i have to write let us prove that in the form of writing the values suppose if i take hexane the boiling point of hexane is 69 degrees centigrade If I have to take two methyl pentane, the boiling point is sixty degrees centigrade. If I have to take three methyl pentane, the boiling point is fifty three degrees centigrade. And suppose if I take two two dimethyl butane, which is a branch structure, the boiling point is fifty degrees centigrade. Now you will see, students, more of the branching boiling point will be less because the surface area is less. So what will I write among all this? Let us name this as one. This is name this as two. This is three. This is four. So which has less? Four has less boiling point than three. Three has less boiling point than two. Two has less boiling point than one. So this is the trick thirteen. You have to remember. 
ரொம்ப மோர் ஆஃப் த பிரான்ச்சிங் கிரேட்டர் இஸ் அ பிரான்ச்சிங் மோர் ஆஃப் தி பிரான்ச்சிங் த பாலிங் பாயிண்ட் வில் பி வெரி வெரி லெஸ் எஸ் ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் ஹோப் திஸ் இஸ் கிளியர் டு யூர் ரைட் லெட் மீ கம் பேக் அண்ட் மீட் வித் த நெக்ஸ்ட் ட்ரிக் தட் இஸ் ட்ரிக் நம்பர் ஃபோர்டீன்